Hello friends, this is Arun and uh, welcome in my YouTube channel of uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. So today we will learn about the <coughs> cinematic look and uh, you can say the Hollywood style pictures. So how to get result, this type of result from the Lightroom and uh, this is the image that is the final result from the uh, adjustment of the Lightroom and uh, earlier this image was uh, this this is the original image that I have used with the Lightroom uh, adjustment and uh, this is the effect uh, that I have got from the Lightroom adjustment after applying the effect to this photo so let's see friends how I get this effect and uh, this is very simple in Lightroom uh, instead of Photoshop uh, this type of uh, effect uh, in Photoshop it is uh, a little bit are difficult rather than the uh, Lightroom. In Lightroom this is very easy. So so this is the original image. I am in the double module of uh, Lightroom and I am in the full screen mode. Uh, you just simply press double uh, twice F button on the keyboard and you will get the full screen for Lightroom. So I will start from the little bit of uh, I want to decrease little bit of saturation because the saturation is why very high in this image. Uh, so I will decrease this saturation up to minus 26. I think that is better. And uh, in this area, the area is more red th rather than the orange shade. So there is a hue button on the red so i will move this button to the right to get the orange effect from this image so this is orange effect uh, if you uh, move this slider to the left side you will get more red than the this magenta shade so i want orange shade so i will move this slider to the right side about uh, 47 then I want some local adjustments like I want to control the highlights in this area so I will mm, set uh, the value of this highlights up to minus 29 and I want to let no, I want to boost little bit of uh, saturation uh, about uh, 50 I think uh, this area was uh, clipped by the uh, dark black part now this is uh, highlighted this area is illuminated uh, so I want uh, contrast that is 29 then uh, little bit of uh, minus 10 exposure let's see if I increase I think uh, plus 10 is better for this image uh, I want uh, clarity minus 18 uh, you can see there is a lot of uh, noise in this image so how I can remove this noise so go to the detail panel this is your detail panel and uh, this is the zoomed or you can say the one by ratio one by one ratio zoom in this part so I will set it value to 40 or the color value to 50 it takes time to apply this effect in the image so it is taking little bit of time So I have set the value of uh, noise up to color noise up to 50 and uh, this is uh, 40 noise reduction. Now I want boost the sharpness of this image. So increase the sharpness up to 82 then I will mask if you know about the Photoshop masking it is very similar to that. 
I will press the Alt key on the keyboard then I will move the slider to the right side the area that is black that is uh, without sharpening and the area that is uh, white that is with sharpening or you can say the effect of this on this image so that is the final uh, adjustment that I want from the Lightroom and the final step is that I want that uh, subtly toning like cinematic look or you can say the Hollywood style look so it is uh, I will tell you the uh, very easy method for this so you just simply press alt key on the keyboard and move the slider as per the desired color you want uh, and later you can set the saturation of uh, this color so I want some orange shade so I will get around 47 that is very orange and uh, then I will increase the saturation for this orange up to 38 I think 38 is very good you can see the effect this is before and this is after this is only for the subject toning this button on and off then uh, I will set the hue and saturation uh, hue and saturation for uh, shadows uh, simply and uh, same you press alt key on the keyboard and uh, set the desired color for shadows uh, I want some 154 like cyan green shade then you can boost the saturation up to 30 up to 32 so this is the final result that I have uh, I got from the Lightroom and you can see the image before so friends you can check before and after for this image and uh, this is the original image that I have used and uh, this is the final result that I have got from the Lightroom so this is very very easy in the Lightroom rather than the Photoshop I think and I hope you have liked this video and uh, Keep in touch with me on uh, Facebook, YouTube as well as on the Gmail account. Thank you friends for watching this video.